What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 23 of the Intermediate Python tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is handling errors and actually getting all the information that we might need, especially when we are doing something like logging as we covered in the previous tutorial. So to start, you know, typically, let's say you've got a try and accept and, and, and in the try we're going to do A plus B. And then in the exception as E, let's just print string <clears throat> e. Okay, save and run that. The the error that we get is just name A is not defined. Now that can be sort of useful, but again, in a larger uh, program, that's that A could be all over the place. We might not have a, you know we're not get we don't know where in the program was this hit, um, and so that that can be problematic. So. Especially as opposed to uh, if we, well, we can actually leave that exception here. So we'll hit that exception and then we'll hit another exception, <clears throat> right? And in here, we actually get a trace back and we're given all kinds of lovely information. Uh, where did it happen? What line happened? What was the code basically? And what was the error? But when we just return string E, all we get is name A is not defined. So I'm gonna close this and, and basically what we're gonna solve here is, is this problem. So first what we're going to do is we're going to import sys. Now what sys is going to let us do is actually access the traceback itself, the actual exception error. Uh, and, then we can, and then we can start returning information from that error. So rather than print string e, we can do something like this. Like let's print um, sys.exc for exception info. And we'll just do that for now. Save and run that. And as you can see, it's actually a tuple of some information for us. We've got... Um, what kind of error was it? And then we actually literally get the error. And then we get this traceback object, blah, blah, blah. The traceback object is the actual um, information of like the line number and, uh, and other bits of information for us. Let's close that. And instead what we're going to do is we're going to slice this up. Now, interestingly enough, um, I read from the internets <clears throat> that in, in the exception it's unwise to save the slices to variables. So for example, you might, you might want to, well, first let's just do this. Let me just print it out. So it, well, let's just print out the slices. So uh, zero, we'll do, we'll print that. And then I'm going to paste this three times or two times rather, um, one and two. So the zeroth was the error. Uh, this was the name error. And then this was, this would be like that, that trace back information. And we can say TB underscore line number, line no, for line number. Let's save and run that. Okay, you get name error, name A is not defined, line four. Now, as I started to say before, I wanna just show you real quick. Um, it, it's unwise to save these values to variables uh, because if you have an exception in the exception itself, uh, you would have a circular reference to the variables and they would never get garbage collected. So you really want to just slice the tuple like this. Do not save it to uh, a variable. Interesting information. Anyway, um, and that's fine. We can leave it like that. So, so this is our new exception. And then instead, maybe what we would say is something like this, like print uh, error colon. Uh, and then we're just going to do line formatting here or string formatting rather. And then we'll say on line something dot format. And then we'll format just all of these. So this comma, I'm just going to enter down there. Uh, copy, paste, comma, and then this one here. Paste. I'm going to delete what we had there before. And now you get error. You know, name error, name A is not defined, line four. Okay, a lot more useful of an error. Um, in our program here, it's very simple, and, and we would have known immediately where A was because A is only referenced one time in this entire script. But if you have a much larger program, you might have A referenced in hundreds of places. <laughs> where, where are you talking about? So, uh, very cool. Now, probably, you know, like I said, we're, we're most likely to be using this in like logging a logging situation. So we can import logging here. And then let's create, let's define error handling. And then 
we can take this, basically everything that was in that print statement, and instead let's just return that information. And then we could say logging.error, and then we just do error underscore handling. Cool. So cool, let's save that, run it. And there you have it. So now we have not the entire traceback, which you know could be pages long, and it, we don't want all of that saved necessarily to a file. Now we've just got error. Uh, this is kind of redundant. We probably could do, we could probably do like this. <laughs> <laughs> Logging already gave us that error, you know, the, the level basically. So error, the root, uh, what kind of name, what kind of error is it? Uh, name A is not defined, line 11. Much more useful. Obviously this one we just kind of put out to the console, but of course with logging you could say, you, it's gonna be saved to a file or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show that really quickly because I think it's <clears throat> a lot more useful, especially when, you, when using logging and stuff like that. So. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in another tutorial.